Hey folks, Tim from PoolProAnswers.com here. So I'm on a location here. We're gonna be taking out a DE filter. Here's our new filter. Pentair Clean and Clear Plus. See the pop out here? Means it's a 420 square foot filter. A little bit smaller in stature than our 60 square foot filter. Uh, but other than that, they on the outside, they look exactly the same. On the inside, this is uh, paper style, style cartridges that are a little bit easier to maintain. Inside this one is DE grids. A couple of other uh, things we want to point out. You'll notice the inlet and the outlet. On this one, the outlet is on top, the inlet's on the bottom. And we have a, uh, a push-pull um, uh, backwash valve. We don't need a backwash valve for a uh, cartridge style, style filter, so we're going to cut this out. Um, but you notice the outlet's on top, the inlet's on the bottom. On this one, if you can see it there, the outlet's on the bottom, the inlet's on the top. Do not mix these up. Don't try to just do a plug and play over here. Uh, so what we're going to have to do is flip these somehow. Uh, looks like what we're probably going to have to do is cut this pipe back a little bit of ways, uh, bring it all the way down, and then connect to the what will then be the outlet. And this one will have to shoot up and over and uh, be set into what will then be the inlet. All right, so just to give you an idea of how I lay these out myself, some guys do it differently. PVC is really easy. Um, it's not unforgiving like, uh, you know, maybe copper, some of the other uh, metal style. Um, my dogs love pool guys, by the way. Uh, metal style um, plumbing. So I usually will just take the bell side of any fitting. I'm going to end up putting probably a 90 here, a sweep 90. But I just take the bell side of any fitting, kind of rough it out. You want to, the end of your pipe is going to end toward the inside of this bell. So this is right around where I'm going to cut this. Drop it down, do another 90, and then come in this way. So I do sometimes use a sawzall to make this really quick. But again, I'm trying to do this uh, channel for you guys that might be uh, homeowners. Kind of see how you might do this in a different scenario. So I just mark it off with my saw. Make that real easy. Same thing over here. I come over, set it right there. And I think I've showed you guys before, but this is just a uh, PVC ABS saw. This is designed for this. You can see the teeth are designed to cut when you pull towards you. you push away. Okay. So now we're filter is free. What you also want to do with any PVC that you cut, you want to prep it with some. You don't have to use this. I forget what they call this stuff, pipe tape or something like that. Um, you just want to get rid of all all the burrs in there. You don't want that running through the heater here and ultimately back into the pool. This one is going into the filter. You don't want that running, clogging things up. So anything that you're going to glue, go ahead and sand it up real good. So these are the 90s. These are what are called sweep 90s. Um, these are better to have on the system as opposed to these. These are your regular standard 90s. It's called the sweep, obviously, because it sweeps. Helps the... Um, Helps the water flow, helps the efficiency of your pump, helps your efficiency of everything. Because if you envision the water going in, this one, it just hits it, hits the inside of that 90 like a wall, and then it has to change direction and go up. This one, it just kind of sweeps it, flows nicely. All right, so here we're laying out the, uh, the inlet. You see, I got a 45 on here. I haven't glued anything up. We're always doing a dry fit beforehand. Um, 45s can be a little bit tricky um, because I've found because everything's moving, everything's a dry fit so far. So what's going to happen with this one is once we glue this, see the pipe right now is only about a halfway in. Once we glue this, it's going to slide back. Once we glue this one, it's going to slide down. And so that's going to change the location of this one. So what we'll do first is I'm going to leave this a little bit long, just like it is. I'm going to glue this all into place. Should probably fix that too, I think I will. I'm going to put this uh, uh, union on this uh, this pump here. I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but that kind of pivots. 
And what's more, let me show you. Get the camera here. What's more is this is not a plumbing fitting. This is an electrical fitting. So whoever installed this uh, probably was shopping in the wrong section. So we're going to switch this out for this. This will make a nice quick disconnect for the pump, at least on this end. The other end uh, is okay for now, but should we should put one of these on the other end, the union. surface that you're going to inevitably glue once you've done your dry fit go ahead and prime it um, this just preps the surface to accept Step is the glue. After, of course, the primer. Now, because the pump is the more delicate side, I don't want to just glob it in there. So I do that on the outside one, and then on the inside, just do a thin coat. And then when you put it on, do it about a quarter turn away from where you want it to end up. Let it set for a second and then rotate it into place. Well, it's kind of a straight shot right here. And remember, this is the inlet going to the top. To the top. Okay? I'm more saying that for my benefit than yours because I don't want to forget. Uh, we're going to glue all this into place and then we'll find our location because as you see, the height matters. Okay? So now what we'll do is we'll line everything up and then, then we have to be accurate with this guy. We're gonna come straight down and remember this is gonna slide back a little. Looks like it's gonna hit this, but it won't. Slide this back a little bit, come down, and then we're gonna intersect with that guy. So get this prepped. And you know, before we run out of room over here, we might as well get these cleaned up too. You don't wanna forget about them. So what happens is you start getting getting going and you forget to do stuff. And then you try to, you know, I won't use the term, but try to do it halfway later on. And that's no good either. So might as well just get it out of the way now. Do these right. I can still move the filter back if I need to. So, so I'll stick that on there. Put that back just to here. All right, so we're back at it with more 45s because we had to crisscross these, uh, <clears throat> these pipes. Uh, gonna have to jog around it a little bit. And the way we do that is just use 145 to get the pipe going in the other direction. And then you use another 45 to get it going back to the right.
better way to do this, what I just did, would have been to glue up the vertical to the 90 before gluing it to the horizontal. But uh, I'm trying to get these 45 lined up down below. I don't know why I didn't do it that way. Just trying to hurry up and get this one. So, you see, see how move, movement, there's a lot of movement in PVC. That's why you don't have to be perfect. Now these these spots are not glued yet. Keep that in mind. We're going really to be hopefully the last ones that we do, because um, then we can slide. We can get those ready and prepped, and then we'll be able to um, slide the filter right into position. So you see, if you connect them like this, you're going to create a 90. If you connect them like this, they zero out, right? So go this way. 45 that way. 45 back. 45 minus 45 is zero. So this way, 45 plus 45 is 90. I'm not sure if you saw. Okay. So what we're going to do, I'm going to use this other 45 to kind of fill that gap. This is already glued in place. We're going to glue this one in place, and then uh, we'll use this 45 right in there. Should should snug up nicely. Uh, if it pushes this back a little bit, you can always trim that just a hair. Okay. So. Glued up. All right, moment of truth here. Pull this out, just kind of see where everything's set. That's pretty good. It's almost dead nuts lined up. Working time. What size fittings and all that good stuff. So once you get it started, the whole thing should slide in. Okay. Spin it if you want. So that's pretty much it. We need to put the uh, uh, pressure gauge, install that. Um, this is already torqued down. See the springs are touching. Could could go down maybe a little bit more. Um, everything's tight. See we tighten that. Glue that. Glue, 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 and glue. So we want to make sure everything that we cut we glued. So we're set. Um, we just have to come back in a day and start it up. Technically it's set within a half hour. Um, but I want to leave it for at least a day. All right, so there you have it. That's how we swap out a, uh, a filter, a DE filter for a cartridge filter. DE stands for diatomaceous earth. Um, it's granular filter media. Doesn't matter, because we just swapped out, swapped it out for one of these guys, cartridge filter, Pentair. Um, so um, that's how you do it. I'm happy that we got this replaced um, so we're all set um, I'm gonna come back in another day or so fire it up make sure there's no leaks uh, make sure there's enough water in the pool and uh, we'll be good to go so hey thanks for tuning in again Tim from uh, poolproanswers.com hey if you have any questions uh, feel free to drop it in the comments below I'd love to uh, get some more ideas on videos um, if you have any comments keep them constructive please be kind uh, you know there's enough uh, negativity in the world we don't need to add to it so um, you know help me out like and subscribe if you enjoy the content and again if you're a weirdo that just likes pool products and pool pool content hey uh, the more the merrier so now if you wonder how to learn all this stuff Honestly, I mean, of course, YouTube videos, but, uh, you know, just practice. Screw up a few times. Don't be scared of it. You mess up, that's a lesson you'll learn forever. You get it right every time, you didn't learn anything. At least that's the way I was taught. I don't know, is that redneck ingenuity or what?